Now there's only one place to go for all things arts and craft, and that's Charon's Bookstore. In addition to all your back to school supplies, Charon's has everything you will need for that art project. Visit them at their three locations, 53 Eastern Main Road to Napuna, 24 Eastern Main Road San Juan, and Level 1 Trin City Mall. Contact them at 663-1884 or check them out on Facebook at Charon's Bookstore TT. Now let's get to crafting. What's up you guys? We're back with another kitty craft. And I oh, startled wow. you. And you did, but I, I'm looking at your he your your headgear. It's so cute, right? Uh -huh. I love it. You have that really. Anyways, look, it's yeah. almost Christmas, right? Yes, it is. Like wow. in a couple of days. Yes, it is. Are you guys excited? I am. Are you on the naughty or nice list, Renata? Can we not have this conversation okay, here, please? Right. So, of course, for our crafting stuff, Mummy, mm -hmm. we get everything from Charon. Yes, we do. So, so yeah, it's time. What are we making today, by the way? Today, like, um, you know, and previous, I think our previous um, segment we did, you know, things on a budget. So we continued in right. that theme. And, the and this is theme. definitely, how much did you yes. pay for this? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. All right, but all we right. got some stuff from Charons, right? So I'm just gonna empty my bag. Of course, you can get all your artsy stuff, uh, books and stuff like that from Charons Bookstore. They're located various places in Trinidad and Tobago. So definitely check them out for all your arts and crafts needs. So tell me, what are we doing? Okay, so we're gonna be doing a, um, a branch, decorating a branch. Now I remember this, I had fun memory, uh, memories of branches as, as, as a child growing up um, being decorated as Christmas trees. Oh, wow. Right? Yeah. So the, the, the Christmas trees that you all are accustomed to now uh, weren't so, you know, popular, popular and available and they oh, were costly as okay. well. So I grew up with, uh, with these kind of branches. branches. And mom, my mom used to put um, the cotton all on this and, and put the balls and hang them. And we had no electricity where we were growing up. So no so lights. No lights. I was just no going to say. No lights. All right. So today, wow. So we're gonna do the branch, and Renata, I stole one of your little thingies from home. Yeah. And you can use any anything that you have at home to do this craft. Now we need a bowl, and, and you notice that I'm using a metal bowl because we're gonna be using some. Do you know what this? Is? No. Why are you Plaster looking at me? Of Paris or plaster Paris. All right, and for those who don't know what Plaster Paris is. Did you get it from Paris? No, I didn't, I wish. Uh, I wish. Okay, Plaster Paris is what you really, what they, they use for um, broken legs and arms and any part of your body. That's what they use to form that cast over. Right. All right, so it's a solid thing. All right, so we're just gonna mix this with some water to form a piece. And I improvise again. This is a little spoon that I cut off the top of it. And so we're gonna just just mix. You wanna mix? Do you wanna mix? All right, so we're gonna be mixing this into a piece. Now, the thing about Plaster Paris is that I am sure if you feel the bowl, you'll feel that it's getting warm. Yeah, yeah. oh wow. It, it gets warm. So that's when you know that it's good and ready to be used, but you need to mix some more. You need to mix that a little more, yeah. Now, the trick about this is that we have to leave this to, to, to dry for a little bit, all right? So... How long does this take to dry? Um, not very long. Actually, it takes um, a few minutes to, to get dried. I think I And should, this is the piece. That's the piece, yeah. That's the piece that we're going to be using. The consistency. So this is the consistency we want. And um, just, just a bit. Let's just add a little, little bit more. more. Yeah, let's just add a little more to make sure that we have enough to cover. But that's the consistency. Okay, so we're right? going to be adding some more water. Yes, we're going to be adding some more water. All right. Are you feeling the warmth? Yeah. yeah. There's a warmth that you would feel in there as you mix. And that that's how you know that it's ready to be used. All right. So you mix the paste. Mixing, mixing, mixing. Yeah. So we're going to be pouring that into the... Contain no, Renata, you need to mix that a little more there to so make sure that all of it is mixed properly. Right, you see, it's thin in there, so come, come let's put it, pour it out, pour it out, and then we stick this into the middle of it. 
All right, quick, quick, quick. Oh, it's already starting to set there. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. So for those who don't know what plaster of Paris is, it's something, you know, similar to cement. You know, it works like that. You, um, it's a solid thing. And so it will hold this, this branch into place. All right, so we'll stick him there. And uh, Renata. Yeah. You can take the balls, but I'm holding this here in place for it to dry. Right. Because it's getting, it's, look, oh, it's wow. already set, yeah. So you gently. I love this. Yeah. Can we just neaten them up? Yeah, you to could. The side but, but there. You, you're shaking it up so it won't. Yeah, I'm kind of OCD when it comes to that. I okay, wanna... all to this edges here, you know? But yeah. this can be cleaned after. Oh, all right. So, so yeah, what do you after. what do you want me to do with these? So we're just gonna decorate. We're just gonna put this together um, with our. I got some leaves. Okay. Um, we got some leaves here to give it that rustic feel, as per usual. Yes, like I you said, know, you know I'm a sucker you for can get, right? Yes, you can get all your crafting stuff from our friends at Charons, of course. And you just go wild doing what you want. So I could just... Okay. Could and just you anywhere. can put your Christmas, Christmas balls anywhere. Anywhere you feel like, you just put them and make your, you know, have yourself a merry little Christmas, girl. Okay, love it. Yes, have yourself a merry little Christmas. You... you Kids, you can use anything to decorate. Um, I feel like we just took some of some of the items that we had at home, and you know, these things. Like I said, these little things, these embellishments, we got them at the at our friends, um, Charons. Charons. But mom, you know, I think I feel like this is something really nice for you know parents. Of course, would do their normal decorations yep. and normal tree and yep. stuff like yep. that. This is something nice to put in the kids' rooms. It is, it is. You Very can put inexpensive. This any, you can put this outdoors. You, it's yeah. versatile. You can use outdoors. You can you can use this as party, the centerpieces for True. parties. You can, you can, you can do, it, it's limitless what you can do with this, all right? So just have fun. Just have fun. Use your imagination. Um, you don't have to even use Christmas balls. Even those ones that we made before, we could take those and hang them on, on, on to this tree as well. I don't know if you all could remember the ones we did with the twine. All right, so that one we can take and hang here as well. Um, you can hang bows, you know, make sure that you get to the top, right? Oh, yeah. You know, I'm these trying. shorty people. Shorty people here. Yeah. So, this is it. And just some of these things that we got from home as well, Ren. I thought that it will go well with our little rustic theme. Uh, we have going on here. All right. One more. We can't leave you out. <laughs> and there we go. Where do this we is put just. Him? You could put him anywhere. Anywhere. Or to the top run. Top, top. Yeah. All right. Oh, I can't reach. Okay. So have fun, have fun. Just go out in the yard, see, or right across the, the street from you if there's, you know, somewhere down the road. So, you know, now people are, oh, are putting cleaning up. On. Cleaning up, so you may get branches. You know, ask a neighbor, do not go and steal. Ooh, ask a neighbor for a branch. I, um, yeah, no stealing. No stealing. So I um, I asked, actually got this from my brother. He did some... Um, you stole it from your brother? No, I, I didn't steal it. I asked nicely. Okay. All right, I asked nicely. <laughs> All righty. That's so it? Basically, that's it. That's that's it. That's it. That, that's, that's I love it. this. I'm going to put this in um and that's it. That's in the me. in my room. Yeah. This is this is just you I'm, know. I like the the angels. The angels. Put the angels. Sure. One put angel. the angel wherever. Yeah, hang it to the top. I think an angel goes nicely at the top. All right. Yeah. All righty. So basically that's it. Our little tree. Our little Christmas tree, but I, I think that, that angel is 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 it's weighing it. everybody yeah. down. I think All right, a, angel, yeah. you're a okay, bit uh, It was, eh? Yeah. So you could probably put him across Only on this side, uh, you know, so balance it off. Yeah. So there we go. I don't know. Angel is too big. Ah, uh, nah. Let's see. Let's get a place to put this angel. So, so kids, mummies, daddies. Um, it's not rocket science. I told yeah. you the angel. This angel is, this angel is a good angel. 
good angel. All right, what? and there we go. Wow. Right, I absolutely love this. Very inexpensive. Yes, I really like it's, this. It's inexpensive, and that's the thing. That's what we. And you see, look how many we have hanging here, and we have some. And and that's what I like about crafting. It, it doesn't have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's what you feel, what you see, and what works for you. Indeed, but yes. that's how we end things on this segment. I had fun doing this. Yes. I really did. It brought, yes. back, uh, brought back to me a lot of childhood memories. And you know what? I remember here, and you all talk about this um, spider web thing that some people, some places, I uh, see this. Yeah. This is going on here with the glue. With the glue. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for joining us. Again, if you're getting in on the fun with Katie Craft, please send us photos. That number is 393-ACT. And we'll see you next time, bye Kitties. Bye-bye. Don't forget, for all your arts and craft supplies, check out Charon's Bookstore. Visit them at their three locations, 53 Eastern Main Road, Tunapuna, 24 Eastern Main Road, San Juan, and Level 1, Trin City Mall. Contact them at 663-1884. Or check them out on Facebook at Charon's Bookstore TT. Have fun crafting!